ladies and gentlemen, Jake P's in the chat, otherwise known as Spectral Link. Michael B's sitting next to me. Magic Online's that zoom in constantly. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We are playing this Morphon combo list that Jake suggested I play. Jake actually emailed me. He messaged me yesterday, and he was like, "Hey, do you want a do you want a box of mystery a mystery box a mystery boosters? Is that what they're called? Mystery booster? Yeah. Yeah. For like a bunch of stream stuff. And I was like, what does that mean? And he was like, well, you play a couple decks or or whatever. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. So we're probably got like three or four decks coming up from Jake eventually. And I think he's going to wait for some uh, for Ikoria. But this is a deck he actually sent me like in January 21st, right before we moved. So I never got a chance to play it. And uh, basically what you want to do is you want to use these two cards and board the Weatherlight, I guess, uh, to get your Morophon. Uh, sometimes you want to get your Morph on. You know what yeah. I mean? You got to get your Morphon on. Morphon on. You know what I'm saying? And then once you name Slivers, spells with the chosen type you cast cost... Five mana less to cast. Wooberg less to cast. So I can go like this guy for free, this guy for free, this guy for free. Summoner's Pact. Go find another one, play this guy for free. All of your slivers are also free because they, I mean, this guy costs one, I guess. But this is free, which gives haste and flying. This is free. Uh, Eldamry's called not free, but you could still get one of these guys. You also use Soren in order to put Morophon into play. And uh, board the Weatherlight. And Nissa both find Soren and Morophon, which is pretty sweet. How do we cast Morophon? You boy. And then uh, we got 20 lands, which I'm a little suspect about. Because Ooh, only 20. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's ambitious. You got, you got Michael's like, oh. Even for me, man. That's, that's great. Modern. Two player Q. Let's see what this deck is. Soren is super important. Don't keep a hand without Soren. How dare you talk to me? Don't you tell me what to do. Don't you talk to me like that. Don't you hop in the queue. You can play against me. Okay, I'll do it for my phone. Oh, wait. I can't do that. Are we playing Trodge? I don't know what that... What is that? What are you saying right now? Just chug it, man. You want me to just chug this? Yeah. No. I'll give you $5. Give me $30. Hmm. It's not worth it. Fifty dollars. You're going up, not down. That's not how negotiation works. Sixty dollars. Final offer. You know what? Sure. You drink that whole bottle right now. I'll give you sixty dollars. <laughs> it's so strong. <clears throat> Morotron does sound like a sweet deck name. I'll throw in five. You might say Rob has five on it. <laughs> And now we wait. Now we do wait. I want to know where Mike B is. I'm right here. I want you to show me. All you got to do is turn your head. Oh, I, got, I don't have time, man. <laughs> hey, man, let me ask you something. Where do you keep your pet earwigs? In a box. Full of locks. The box a rock. The box is full of locks? Yeah. And earwigs. They like them. They like to figure out the combinations. What would you say they liked about them? They like to figure out the combinations. Oh, we did it. I was like, oh my god, is anyone going to play against us? And then they did. I was afraid it was never going to happen. Oh yeah. Oh, this, is a, this is what's known as a sneeper. My only problem with Board the Weatherlight is it doesn't hit a land. Whereas Oath of Nyssa does. Hey man, we got up to $69 in the chat for you to drink that bottle. Nice. I think we want... Wait, there's no Overrun Tomb, even though it casts Oath of Nissa and Soren. Yeah, there should be one. I guess you have there. one Murmuring boss, but... That doesn't do anything. I guess I'll just get Temple Garden, because... Yeah, this deck definitely wants an Overgrown Tomb. 
I guess we'll double up on this guy. Oh, I guess you wait. If you play Oath of Nissa with a forest, you don't actually need the, the, oh, the, that's true, the yeah. black, though. Yeah, that makes that's sense. True. How come Board the Weblight doesn't get, uh, you know, lands? It's not really that good of a card. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you can play it. But then we die. We could play a Soren here. And then you get packed for Morophon. Oh, we definitely. Yeah, but then we die because we don't have four mana to pay during our upkeep. It'd be worth it, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but think of the value. I might just allow to call for it. I don't know what else we could do this turn. Nothing. I mean, we could play Soren here, right? He'd go up to five, but if he takes any more than two, then we just. No, we're no, we're playing a lot of call, right? Yeah, that seems good. Yeah. All right, we're doing it. Okay. Yeah. So Soren would went two if we actually did this. I'm already bored of the weatherlight. Wow. That's a rude thing to say. Um, bingo, bango. Give me a good sliver. No, I said a good sliver. Did I just say Urborg out loud? Did I say this deck needs an Urborg out loud? I thought you were talking about drawing a sliver. No, did I say... In my head, I was like, this deck needs an Urborg. Did I, I say you, that? I don't think you said it out loud. Maybe you did. I'm I'm tripping out though right now because I didn't feel like I thought I said it out loud, and then I drew the Urborg and I was like, "Oh dang, dang!" I didn't say that. Wow, I feel like I lost a bunch of a bunch of cred here. We don't have any slivers in hand though. Do we go get a sliver? Of course you want to name sliver, man. That's how the combo works. Do we what? No, I didn't we name Sliver. I said, do we go get a Sliver, Michael? No. Yeah, I guess we could Spirit Guide to pay. We could Spirit Guide to pay, actually. Oh, yeah. We're going to break the rules, my dudes. Sliver spells you cast have Cascade. Uh, all Slivers get plus one. No. Sliver Legion. No. Sliver Hive Lord. Indestructible. Indestructible! Oh yeah, we're. Oh god, don't um, do that. Oh, fuck. you're right. Then we have to pay for two of them and die. Disgusting. Also, those are some fat creatures on the board, you know. Yeah, I'm just afraid they're gonna go like, white land path path, and then I'm gonna be like, well, biscuits. There's the white land. All right, that's a red. That's a red. Annoying, but our board's better, so. Oh, we can't produce green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got it. Yeah, he got it. All right. Cool. Yep. Fun card. How many times are we going to play against Un goddamn Magus of the Moon? Yeah, uh, more than I care to play against them. I guarantee if you were playing like a two-color deck, you'd never see it. Yeah. Underworld Breach seems weird in this deck. Like, I just don't care about it at all. I don't feel like you can fuel it very efficiently either. I want to know where Mike is. Right here. Alexa, where does Michael live? Michael lives in the garbage can. Oh, in the garbage can. It's very informative, Alexa. Thank you. You're just so proud of yourself. Yeah, I could see playing an engineer. Thank you. Oh, what up, I? Barcode? What should I call you? Seriously, I can't keep doing this. I can't keep making up names for you. 
I, barcode, what are we naming you here? What's What should be the name that I use to refer to you when I want to thank you for your barcode is mine? <laughs> what do you, like, what What was your goal with this? With this, yeah, The username was a barcode. I think you mentioned that. But, you know what? That's fine. We'll just go by barcode. I'll call you BC. I like that better. Because now it's like a nickname. Now we're basically BFFs. Oh, Pioneer, buddy, this is modern. You don't got no Morphon in Pioneer, my dude. No Fetchlands. Oh, he got it. They killed, they killed Kenny and figured it out. What did you say to me about Fetchlands? You can't play those What did you say to me? You can't play those Where? Pioneer. You can't play those Pioneer. With Pioneer? Yeah. Okay. It's basically the same thing. Jake wanted me to mull because we don't have Soren, but I said no. Maybe you'll find it. Oh, I do like that it's a palindrome. That's clever. I like it. We will find it. Don't worry. He's right here. You ready? Wow. Nailed it. Yeah, that's how we do. Lucky, 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 lucky. I'm going to use this to go get a Foresto. Well, that's annoying. Nope. <coughs> but they're not like super pressuring us here. Yeah, Pioneer decks are more expensive than Modern. Yeah. Really? Yep, because Pioneer is the new format. And it's more accessible to more people, so more people are playing it. Hmm. Um, I think we just LL Emery's call again, right? <coughs> Can you keep it down? No. Disgusting! <laughs> Okay, I'll take two. Yeah, I feel like next turn is going to be... Uh, sure. That is nowhere near as impressive as the things I'm going to do, my friend. The problem is if we cascade into any non-land, we can't play it, which is really frustrating, but... <clears throat> or non-creature, rather. Oh, I said non-land there. Disgusting! Let's go... I feel like we want Sliver Hive Lord more than the other ones. It's either Slayer or Legion, which is cute. I don't think the plus one, plus one is super relevant right now. Or Hive Lord, which I just think is actually stronger. It's stronger. Power Custom is also pretty good. Oh, that's not bad. I think we could wait a turn, though. It doesn't matter. Use this is. Here's the mana for crying out loud. Man, the fact that this is a friggin' vampire is pretty hilarious to me. I get my cascade on. I can't cast it. That's unfortunate. I can't cast it. That's unfortunate. You can't cast anything. Alright, well, your move, my dude. Well, if they play Blood Moon, I don't know how we're going to Pyroclasm. So. Why not? It makes them mountains. That way you can produce red mana. Fuck, he's right. <laughs> it's about the only thing you can do when you got 
that's literally all you can do. It's funny because I was like, well, our mana confidence is going to be shut off. We can't pyroclasm. Wow, what an absolute dummy. Well, I mean, that's 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 my equivalent of you being like, oh, that's no big deal. We don't need mana anyway. Yeah. With the summoner's pack, like, in the oh, air. We're going to keep a tally from now on. Let's keep a tally going. Okay, one-to-one. -one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as we start now and not, no. <laughs> not before. <laughs> I mean, I think it's even right now, so might as well start now. One land? What does that mean? You got two lands right here. It's definitely a sweet idea for a deck. What is this? 8, 14. This is 20 points. They're also all indestructible, which is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, like, the thing I'm, I'm, I'm worried about is Path. Because, like, they're already, like, 6, 6, and 7, 7. So I don't think the damage is going to be relevant, but, like... It's going to be relevant real quick, boy. Is it? And if they don't start Path, then they're going to start dying. Get busy pathing or get busy dying. If you if we could cast those non lands, we could really have gone off. Yeah, you're right. Because then we could just keep like keep going. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, dang it! Oh wait, let's give a creature life link and death touch. I'll give it to you. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to the big boy. Oh, it's a, it's a vampire. Oh, he gets a counter. So it's a seven seven. Oh wow, what are they doing right now? Well, that's pretty rude. I don't have any more lands. I say you just pyroclasm and smash I, um, face. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Disgusting. They didn't like that. They didn't. Underworld Breach. We're up the case pretty good. No, we should. What are we putting put for it, though? Drag Sliver seems like trash, right? Like, yeah. this guy has to be in play for us to actually use it. Yeah, I don't like that guy. Maybe it's... <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to bring in a Rupt Decay. I'm going to take one on board the Weatherlight. We don't need seven. We don't need nine of... Uh, Eleven of those abilities. <clears throat> Um, Hushbringer. Is that good here? Um, well, it doesn't, they don't, like, I don't, like, I don't care if we get, like, uh. <laughs> this is the board state that was just shared by They Killed Kenny. Uh, you got the Basilica Bell Haunt, though, so I think you're actually, I think you're actually fine here. Yeah, I think you got it. I think you got it. I think you just need to hold strong. Liliana also makes them sack two of them, so, like. I wouldn't worry about it. I think Soren. Soren was actually my preview card for um, M20 through cool stuff. And I think the card is very good. Like, it's funny because on its surface, like, you look at I'm going to keep this just go Plague Engineer. On the surface, you look at it and you're like, oh, we make a Pyroclasm too. Like, this hand's actually very good despite not having any of the combo pieces. On the surface, you look at it and you're like, oh, this is just good in the tribal vampire deck. But then, like, when you actually, like, it has a lot of applications. One Cloud Shredder Sliver? I don't even know what that is. Did you just fire me? No, dude. I think you did. Why would you even say that to me? <laughs> we have two Cloud Shredder Slivers in the main deck. They went to six. Oh, they might go to five. Are you ready for it? I feel like we kind of want more Cloud Shredder Slivers. Because it's like, it's kind of a card you just want so you can, like, attack the turn you put all these dudes into play. Yeah. Seems good. Whereas, like, I feel like the Dreg Sliver and the other dude is just, it's just kind of too cute. I think even Harmonic Sliver should be in the board. Yeah, we might be going for a hard cast liver here. Oh, 
Hard cast slivers. Okay, that's cool. Another wide aggressive deck. This is the same player. We're in rank we're in game three. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> I knew that. I was just testing you. He was. It's, he was totally testing me. All right, so it's one to two now, right? No, that was a test. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't count. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is, are they gonna put in are they gonna put a champion of, of wits? That's not what it's called. Champion of the parish? Oh, it looks like they are. Such champions. Wow. Oh, they're pathing their own champion. <coughs> Interesting. Yeah, Captain Crystalline Sliver is definitely not legal in modern. <laughs> that is definitely an old Tempest card. Or Stronghold. Well, which a part of the Tempest set. So They have two cards in hand right now. Do you think they're going to go Magus? Do you think they have Magus in hand? They're just like, I'm going to guarantee we get our Magus. Thank you. Anonymous Red, thanks so much for the reset. Welcome back. With my last breath, I curse Zoidberg. Hope this random Futurama quote brings cheer and that this sub alleviates that rat debt. Keep up the great look. They did it. Look, do you see what happened? I'm still going to get the... I'm still going to get the forest here, so... Boom, ba, boom, boom. Oh, and we can do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, they have Thalia's Lieutenant, too. That's bonkers. Oh, what? Wow. That's pretty cool. Um... I actually don't know how to deal with that now. I guess we just have to hope we draw another one. I guess we'll get this guy. Because red is not going to be a problem. Wait. Wait. We can still cast Planeswalkers. I guess that's okay. But still. <coughs> well, drawing a Soren alone doesn't do it. Because we don't have a Morophon. And we also have three first slivers. Rather than any of the other legendary slivers. Well, that's not going to do anything. Um, sure. Do I have any swamps in the deck? This is weird because it enters the battlefield like... Like when this... When, if we kill this, this just has nothing named to it. That's really weird. You definitely butter the bread before you jelly. That's not true. That just sounds like some nonsense. It goes bread, butter, jelly. No. False. Actually, it does. I said the fucking right one, dummy. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Got him. It's one to three. <laughs> Do we have out an out in the deck? Yeah, we have another pyroclasm, but... I mean, our odds of drawing it are low. Like, I, I, we need a swamp. Like, you need... To, there's so many black cards in the deck that you want you one swamp. You need someone to fetch a black source. Like, it's... <clears throat> Yeah, we just have no way to produce black mana, which is really hindering us right now, as you can see. Sure. You can't fetch Urberg, though. Well, that's why he's asking if it's better as a basic swamp. Oh. I mean, I like Urborg a lot, but, like...
Like, the thing is, like, you want to have basic lands to cast the spells in your deck. Like, that's one of my biggest pet peeves about decks, where it's like, they'll build a deck, but, like, you don't actually, you can't cast your spells if they play, like, Megas of the Moon or something. So it's kind of weird. It's nice to at least have outs. I think you would stick with 21 lands. I don't know if you really want to cut any more lands. Oh, do we have any way to fetch a swamp right now, though? Do we? No, right? Uh, Not really, no. Do I not have Prismatic Vistas? I guess I don't on here. Which is weird. Uh, we'll get two of those guys, and we're also going to get another Cloud Sliver. Uh, I also don't like the Underworld Breach. Like, what is this? Yutan Connery has a skate. Like, what are you casting? I don't think you're ever going to fuel it enough either. Like, in case these guys go to the graveyard somehow? Like, I don't think that's really worth it. I mean, the only red here is basically for the Cloud Thresher Sliver, but, like, the only the only card in our, our mana base that's actually hurting that is Stomping Ground, so I'm not really too concerned with the mana here. You know what I mean? Like, it, by fixing the mana for, for accommodating red, you just have to take out Stomping Ground. Yeah, and you also want to be able to but sometimes cast your. I think giving this guy flying in haste is real good. Like giving your, all these guys flying in haste. Oh, good, it's doing it again. All right, I'm gonna put two prismatic vistas in here. I'm gonna cut two windswept heats. Yeah, we have three basics now. Oh, I guess we want a snow covered basic. You know, For because what? we're because we're edgy. And we're using snow-covered basic lands in the deck. <clears throat> I don't know the reason for that. There's none. It's just it's just cute. There's literally no reason. If there's no card in the deck that has a snow-covered requirement, then... Yeah, it, there's nothing in the format where it's like, if you have snow lands, you can do this. No, there's not. I mean, there's like Ice Fang Quiddle, Like, There's yeah, cards that care about your, your right, snow-covered sure, count. Not, not like your opponent's stuff. Right, though. no. It's just not like our stuff when they play that kind of stuff. Nope, that's not cloud. Oh, I forgot what it was called. There can't be that many clouds, right? Shredder. Oh, this guy's three cents? Shoot, I'll get two. I'll take both. Would Astrolabe be good in the next? No, we have three snow we have three snow covered lands. We'd never be able to tap a an Astrolabe ever. Or cast it. I'm gonna add two more of these guys. I feel like I almost want another Sweet and Spirit Guide. Because if you go turn one Oath of Nyssa, you can go turn two Soren. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's try this. Oh, good. I'm out of play points. That's my favorite time. I don't even have 20 play points right now. Boy, this cube is going to be rough this week. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You go turn one Nissa, turn two Imperious, and then you just hope they uh, hope we naturally draw a Morophon. Oh, I guess we got this to hit the Morophon, right? So, hmm. Morophon, Morophon. More oh dang it. Um let's get Hive Lord, I guess. So now we could just naturally play board the weatherlight next turn, I guess, and Home from the Sandwich Mines. What's up, my dude? Oh, good. Oh, wonderful. God, I'm just so tired of this like I saw Saffron Olive was playing this deck, and now I want to play it because he's my favorite content creator that's ever lived <laughs> on planet Earth. I'm just like, okay, you got it. 
I guess we're just hoping to find a... Uh... That's a sorcery. Oh, God. Well, let's do it now, I guess, before they make us discard it. Bored in the weather light. Nope, just another five mana sliver. Okay. Oh, boy. That's rough, dude. Alright, we're dead. It's a very fun arc track game. We're not dead yet. Yeah, we are. Nah. You know we have to sacrifice two permanents, right? Two whole permanents? Get out of here, Michael. That's crazy. I mean, if we hit a Soren off the top, and they don't have, like, some more shenanigans, like... Alright, that's fine. We'll take... F oh, that's good. Testing, yeah. Cool. Must be nice. Well, we did not hit a Soren off the top anyway. Yeah, they just had to hit our fucking Soren, I guess. Totally reasonable. Is there some cool stuff in MTG Goldfish? No, not really. Why? That seems like a, that'd be weird if there was. No, it's just, I mean, like... You've played against this deck so much. Yeah, I've played against this deck like four times in the past two days. Like, it's just kind of obnoxious. Which set is this cube... Which, which set in this cube has the most powerful gods? What... In which cube? What are you referring to? Did I did I not update my info? I bet I didn't. I did, didn't I? That's definitely a cube. Is it? You get morph on, and you got a call. It's true. Oh wait, yeah, we can just. Oh wait. Well, I don't know how we cast call though. Did we just turn one morph on? You don't got to. Why wouldn't I, though? Yeah, I guess we're only playing red. They're not going to have a way to kill it, right? So we can go Gemstone, Spirit, Spirit, Soren, Morophon. We might as well go Herborg and not waste a Gemstone kind of, right? Right, but then if we draw a green or a white oh, line, yeah, we, can, we can't mm -hmm. play this on turn two. So I'd rather just waste the counter because I don't think the game's going to go that long anyway. Plus, if they don't have an answer for this, we just get to... Start putting counters and lifelinking on Morophon. Yeah, that's so, also pretty good. You know, I'll deal with that. <clears throat> oh my. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I can do broken stuff too, buddy. I think it'd only be broken if you had another silver in your hand. Sure. Well, that's not very scary at all. White or green source? Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe. Well, they're not on burn. We know they're not. They're on. Uh, they're on the combo. <laughs> the uh, I don't even know what that dude's called. But I'm gonna pick four up this weekend. Whenever I get my cool stuff credit coming coming through. I'm just going to have six here because I don't have any plays, really. I don't know if Michael's aware, but there's a Devo song called Mr. B's Ballroom. That's about you, buddy. I did not know that song. Yeah, I mean... It's actually worse. <laughs> what? I didn't think it would get worse, but here we, you know, here we are. It's got plus one, plus over plus... Yeah, okay, that's fine. I mean, they're just going to attack Soren anyway, so. I mean, whatever. I would have liked to keep the stomping ground, but. Yeah, they are more fun. Mm -hmm. than doing anything oh, just kidding. This is game two. We know what they're on. You figured it out, Rob. You figured it out. I want to I wanna not block. 
Because you got two turns with this guy, my dude. Land, 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 land. Yes. Yes. No, it's not as good without a Soren. No, we. St what? How is it not as good? Oh, wait, it still works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'll take two here. We're at 26. Let's get the let's get the Cascady boy. Oh yeah, give me that float sliver. Oh Hushbringer, that seems good. It's also good. It shuts down the combo, right? Yeah, that's why we put it in here. That's why we did that. Only an eight eight Psh, amateur hour. I mean, when this deck does what it does, it's pretty fun. So I'm also gonna pick up. I'm pick up some Morophons too. For your commander decks? No, for fuck my modern decks, Michael. I'll make sure I have four Eladomri's El call as well. This deck's getting, we're getting, we're tricking it out, dudes. I don't know what that one, that one three drops called. I'll wait till they play it. Yeah, that's fine. Post combat, Flame Week Phoenix. That's how you know they're dead. One. You know what? See you later, gemstone mine. Storm Herald. Killing it. Um, <clears throat> We just kind of want to haste him up, right? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's a 1-1. One, one. You just want the fast thing so you can cascade it's off of true. it. It's true. Aw. Let's see what would have hit. Oh, Summoner's Pact? I would have done that. Then get another one. Yeah, then you go get the hasty boy. All right, all right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Hey, Mike, have you checked out any of the Commander 2020 spoilers? If so, anything you think is cool to try? Um, there weren't any of the commanders that looked... <sighs> Mike hates them all. Yeah, none of the commanders really interest me. I don't... These look like shit! No, like... That's what he said. They're not all bad, but I don't think he they're... They're just not my my thing. I guess the cycling one's kind of good because you can cycle up the Kree of Annihilation to be cute, but... That's fine. I don't care about that. Uh, the free counter spell is bonkers, and I have no idea why they would put that... <laughs> why would they... Why it's would they literally give, just force Why would you will. give blue another... It's packed, of, it's packed of negation if you have a commander out. Or it's better than that because you don't have to pay five or whatever. Maybe you don't. I mean, sure, you have to have your commander out, but, like, that's not that hard to do. And dudes, does blue really need any more free counter spells? Like, come on, man. Your mom does. Does she? She don't have any. She has no counter spells, Michael. That's true. Oh, look at that. They got rid of a bunch of junk. Oh, this guy's good, though. Two mana? Eight other cards, though? Okay. Cool. That's a lot. What is this, two? Oh, God. Okay. Next turn, we go Soren. Morphon, Sliver Legion. I think we can do it. I think we're okay. Are you ready? All right. Come on. Oh, that that card's going literally in every blue commander deck. It's, it's absurdly absurdly good. Absurd. Absurd. Man, I see. You don't have to pitch a card or anything. Disgusting. To pay life. No, that's what's funny because it's like it's just like it's just as good as all the other free counter spells, but just like better. Considering there's like commanders that cost two mana, like. Played in Thrasio's deck. He costs a blue and a green. I don't even know who that is. He's the God partner damn. that you can pay for to scry. And if it's a land, you put him to play. If it's not, you can put it in your hand. He's literally the best commander right now, currently. I'm trying to find it, okay? We just oh, relax. he's not in this set. He's I'm trying out. to find the counter spell so I can show it to people. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess the, the requirement is that you do have to control a commander. It's three mana. If you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying its mana cost. Counter target non-creature spell. But, like, you know everyone at the table is going to have one. So, it's like. <clears throat> you know what I'm getting, boy. Also, it's like, how many times is Wizards going to print free, free stuff? Oh, we drew the bad. first sliver, too? Oh, that's bonkers. Yeah, this is good, man. And you just get to go sliver, sliver. Sliver. And if we hit, like, any sort of spell, any sort of, like, tutor. Um, you know what? I will cast that guy because we get to use it. 
Uh, I'll choose the good one. I mean, you don't need to use it. But we get to. We get to give, like, a counter. And, like, my, my point is if we hit anything that lets us get Cloud Thresher Sliver, Cloud Shredder. Come on, Cloud Shredder. Um, well, that's not going to find anything. It'll find it. It found lands. Uh, you may sacrifice a vampire. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Get touch and life link till end of turn. None of these guys can attack. I'll just put it on you. Even though I feel like we're doing okay. Yes, technically you could steal someone else's commander. <laughs> commander, and it'll also be free. Oh yeah, that's true. As long as you control a commander, it doesn't which, have to be yours. Which if gilded if gilded Drake wasn't enough already, it's just gonna go up. All right, don't be any Eldrazi conscriptions. There were none. Okay, that's. I don't good. get why they keep printing any free cards. Free spells are too good always. We Every never, yeah. set they print a free card, and they're like, it's "Well, we made a mistake." Like I would not be surprised within X amount of time that card gets banned from Commander. Like it would not shock me at all. I guess you don't run it in a deck where you don't care about your Commander. It's literally that's a negate that costs one more mana. <coughs> yeah. So even when it's when it's three mana, it's not the worst, right? Right, that's what I mean. Like, like <coughs> even the downside, like if you if don't you have control only commander. cast it when your commander's out, maybe. But you can still just cast it. Good lord. Good gravy. So you can board the Weatherlight and then... It makes the product a must-buy. Yeah, it is a card that people are going to want, so... Okay, so wait. The, the, the creature gets Death Touch and Lifelink regardless, right? So I can just play another Soren. <coughs> I can go Soren plus here for ten. Another Soren plus here for ten. And then gain 20 life. Is that, good. Is that correct? <coughs> or we can board the weather light for something, but I don't know what. The white one is bonkers too, and the green one is fog. Yeah, the green one's... I mean, it's a one-side fog, so it can make combat really Oh, hard. let's board the weather light for that one dude. I don't want to take any more damage than I have to, and I'll just I think we're at a point where we don't have to really worry about counters. Oh, we're gonna board the we're gonna board the weather light for the last sliver hive lord, and then we're gonna Oh, we don't get to actually this isn't a tutor, I keep forgetting. Well, that was weird that we just totally whiffed on that. Oh well. So if we attack, we go to twenty, they get four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, but they actually have to block two of these. Yeah. So I guess that's fine. So they're actually going to have significantly less power on board. Oh, and we can also... No, we can't. <laughs> it's like, we can also play this for free. No, well... No. I'm confused. Okay, see you later, guys. At 20. Still no Eldrazi conscription in your trash can. Thought experiment. Would it be less insane if it was three mana remand, free if you control a commander? Yeah, that would be a lot more reasonable. Still be very good, though. Come on. Still no conscription. Sounds good. Doing good. Also, depending if it's like remand where it still hits creatures or not, or if it still draws you a card. I think we won. I think. What are they doing? Oh, they're killing their own land. Okay. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Okay. Is it to play another Phoenix? Just hard cast one? Because they need a double red. Oh, just for Oxy Boy? Okay. There's an Eldrazi Conscription. The problem is you have to block with all of these creatures <laughs> in order to not die. And then, like, even if you have Guy plus Eldrazi Conscription, like... We're going to be at 30. Oh, man. Killing it. Oh, my name is Michael B. I live under the tree. I don't know what's going on here. <coughs> Whew. 
nothing? Nothing's going on? Wait, what? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Are they not dead on board? <coughs> um, I has a confuse. <coughs> And crack this, crack here, and then... Okay. <coughs> oh, they're just doing a little meme here. I gotcha. We got a loves the deck. That's how you can tell we're doing all right. <laughs> That's my impression of Michael B. Got him. Look, now we have play points. I actually like these changes that we just made. I think the swamp is a good addition. Um, I don't actually think we need the Urborg, I'm going to be honest. We have one black card in our deck that can also be cast off Oath of Nyssa. Okay, I really just... I zoomed in on one fucking card, so the reason it's doing this is... Okay, we stopped. Oh god, it's such a, it's such torture, man. Um, but we also have like now we have four mana confluence, a murmuring boss, two prismatic beasts, a goddess shrine, gemstone mines. Like the one cavern of souls is interesting because it's like it requires us to cast slivers. I think I'd rather have one overgrown tomb because <clears throat> we're not casting any of these slivers off of the cavern of souls, and like I'd rather just be able to search for it. It makes sense. Justice, that's what we're doing right this second, buddy. Um, I actually think everything else is good. But is there another better option for board the weather light, though? Just let you get a colors thing or whatever? No, you look at the top five, you roll a historic card and put them in your hand. But, like... It's like a Soren or Morphling. Mor Morph well, or these. Or these, yeah. So. Seems good. There's only 16 cards it can get. I don't know what you replace it with. Unlike Oath of Nyssa, which gets, like, most of our deck. And Eladomri's Call, which literally never whiffs. I saw other streams struggling with the zooming issue as well. The zooming is god-awful. Yeah, I don't know. I, I hate that bug, but we got new sound effects that nobody asked for. Also, I don't like how the new Commander X, like, there's a lot of reprints that, that should probably be in there. That What's aren't? Homing Sliver? More like Homey Sliver. Each sliver in your hand has a sliver cycle. No, you never want to pay three. That's just that's just too much mana. So this guy's naming slivers. Let's just look up sliver real quick. And let's look up modern. So tough format. Modern. What was that? What was that sliver that I just saw? What is this? Sliver Overlord. Oh, that's just a different art for the Legion one. Let's go modern. You're way too much mana. Holy shit, that's the rudest thing you could have ever said to me. The problem is because Morophon reduces it exactly by Wooberg, you kind of want all these Wooberg slivers. Or slivers that cost exactly enough colorless that they're free still. Like, this guy would still be free with a Morophon. Same thing with Cautery Sliver, Dark Heart Sliver. Nope. 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 <laughs> do, 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 do. You know that song? You know Under the Sea? I heard it once. Yeah, I bet you did. Nothing else. Nothing. There's not many other exciting slivers. What about Shapeshifter? The problem with shapeshifters is that, like, a lot of them don't have weird mana costs. Mana costs, as Rob would say. And I don't say. trust them. And I don't trust them. Oh, they're sneaky. Chameleon Colossus. That guy would still cost three mana, though. Is there actually Metamorph legal? It's not shapeshifter, though. It doesn't, it doesn't have changeling. Changeling is what I meant. Yeah, okay. I don't think that's... Phyrexian Metamorph would be awesome. 
Winding Way. Oh, maybe. Actually, a card like Winding Way seems great because, like, you get to reveal four. You're still looking at four. The problem is it can't hit Soren, right? Like, Board yeah, the Weatherlight hits Soren and Morophon, which is the two cards you really want to hit. Someone else? I literally just addressed Homing Sliver. I literally just addressed it. You don't, you rarely have three mana that you want to cycle one of these slivers for. Oh, Unsettled Mariner is interesting. That I don't have any of, but they're probably like a nickel. The mana's rough. We don't have any blue mana in our deck, so it's like... Oh, uh, we don't need Gale Rider Sliver because we have four Cloud Shredder Slivers, which gives flying. And haste, which is just better. Oh, Katie, my love, what is going on? What it do? What it do? Michael B. Twenty seventy two. Twenty twenty seventy two. Twenty twenty seventy two. Michael B. What it do? That's a song I just wrote. It was about you, Michael. I I I think it could be fine. I'm really the only thing I'm looking for is a replacement for board the weather light. I don't think there really is one. Oh, Demonic Tutor. You should run that. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. We also have four Summoner's Pact, four Oath of Nis, and four Eldar Armory's Call. Like, this almost seems like overkill, i be honest. I kind of want to play one more Simeon Spirit Guide over one board of the Weatherlight. It makes you faster. Less consistent, but faster. We gotta go fast. What do we got ha happen in here? Right now, what we're doing is we're using Soren to put a Vampire into play from the battle onto the battlefield. The Vampire is Morophon, which is not a real vampire. Says you. And then, since Morophon reduces the cost of, of the creature type you name, we name Slivers, by five Wooburg, we get to just play these Woobergs for free after we play Morophon. And then, and then Magic Online zooms in until you actually have a brain aneurysm. Um, yeah, this is a sneaker. <clears throat> Surprisingly. Ah, oh, Wooberg. <laughs> yeah, you know about the Wooberg. Everyone knows about the Berg. Have you heard about the Berg? Whoa, 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 Berg. Um, I if I was to make a guess, I would imagine they fixed the Zoom and Bug this Wednesday, which is when new uh, new releases are pushed on Magic Online. If they don't, good lord. Get it together. Ooh, a murmuring bosk. Also, another thing I noticed they did in the new commander decks that tell was me what, Tell me what you noticed. All the, all the partners can only partner with a specific creature. Is it your dad? Yeah, with my dad. All the creatures can only partner with your dad? Yeah. It's weird. That's wild, dude. Morophon, Morophon, where are you? Are you in the top three? Of your dad's a <laughs> God damn. That might be true. Uh, I think we're going to take Simeon's Spirit Guide here. Because that lets us play turn... Oh, no, it doesn't. No, no, I don't like Murmuring Bosk, actually. I think... I think it, it just sucks. It's only good if you draw your... Your Morophon. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just a tap land that like I'm not excited about. Oh, shoot. Thing in the ice. More like thing in the nice. Morophon. I choose you. Uh, Mo Morophon. T -t 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 Today, Junior? They're really tanking on your draw step. <sighs> oh, well. That does let us play Soren. Yeah, but... Just yeah, but. Why are you talking about my butt, Michael? I wasn't talking about your butt. I was talking about my butt. Oh, I thought you were talking about my... You know what? I guess you were talking about your butt. Also, fun fact. That oh, wouldn't matter. Never mind. I was just going to say you could have waited to play a land if you had a Morophon, but that wouldn't really matter because you'd still be shy on mana. Wow, another whiff. This card's trash. We are 0-2 for 
uh, board the weather light. More like board the shit pile. It's going to be 61 degrees tomorrow, dude. Dang, that's steamy. You guys, I'm really wondering when I'm going to get to go to Tarantula Island. What's she talking about? It's Animal Crossing. It's apparently a Tarantula Island. <laughs> but to why, Michael? I don't know. <laughs> Dear God, woman. I think it's funny that you knew that. Well, because it's all over Twitter. All I see is Animal Crossing posts yeah. all day. I gotta say, I like the new Utah, Frank. What is that? Why, though? But why? But the why? I hope they tap out for something stupid, but they're gonna <laughs> tap out for Megas to the Moon. You ready? I don't get this whole animal. Thwok, you not understanding a game that everyone is enjoying. But cool for those that enjoy it. Oh my god, what is this new Thwok? I feel the same way, Thwok. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. Not for me, but I get why people like it. Has everybody heard about Mike's bird? Did it bird, 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 bird. Michael's Wooberg. Hey man, you know how it's Wooberg, right? I do know how it is. So white's first, right? What are they getting back? Serum visions. Oh, they have cryptic command mana now? That's pretty cool. My uh, my collection? It's not in, not in the right order. Is anyone else having audio problems? I thought it was my computer. Oh no, that's not good. Can you say something? Hello. What are the problems, specifically? Small, hold on, let me turn this fan off. See if you guys still hear it. <clears throat> That's my impression of Michael. No static, got an automatic. It's like a ticking? Is there a bomb in here? Did someone take an x-ray? Audio clipping? It's happening right now. Utah Frank just seems to be more fun loving, less stressed than how that could be your life he's doing. <laughs> well, I don't think that would be the case right now because. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a. That's the dumbest thing they've ever done. What do they do? They return this to my hand during my upkeep. So now we get to replay it. Reveal more of Fawn. Play Soren. Play Moro Fawn. Don't have Pact. Force? Pact of Negation? Force of Negation? Oh, I think they have it. Feeling bad. Oh, you heard it again? Oh, it's cell phone? What the hell's going on? Do you really have Force of Negation in hand? <sighs> Fucking go on. Never don't have everything, I guess. <clears throat> Gee, aren't free counterspells fun? Guys, you guys like free counter spells as much as we do? Well, call today and you can have as many fucking free counter spells as you want. Yeah, rewarded for making bad Blake. That's cool. Bounce my thing, I guess. Oh, good. Yeah, let's keep zooming. Oh, yeah, we're zooming all day. Yep, keep on zooming. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You guys ever want a sideboard, but you can't because your game is just zooming? Yep. Look, we're doing it all right. All right. Cool. Move your phone away? From what, though? Move it away from what? I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, there's no way that's cell phone interference. That would be insane. And we always have our phones by the mic, so that doesn't make any sense. Look, I'll put my phone like right on top of the mic. <laughs> Like my phone is on the microphone right now. Let me know if there's more interference or less. <laughs> I hate that neither of these hit Soren. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fixed. Nailed it. It got louder. It stopped it. Oh, God. Well, which one is it? This is all crazy. No, just kidding. It didn't. <laughs> Why are you like this, Rob? Why are you like this? Uh, I don't think I... I have no idea if I should keep this in. Hmm. You 
show plugged in? Yeah, man, I checked that. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what the mic line interference could be, guys. It wasn't there <clears throat> yesterday, so. Or any other days. Or ever. Yeah, I think this. I don't think I would have mulled that hand, Jake. I think I actually would have kept it. The only thing we we're missing, literally, was was Soren. Yeah, I don't know why he mulled that. Well, Jake said I'd mull it, so I trusted him for a second, but then I regretted it. I regretted my trust Bad as soon as it went. God, man, you said Robin got my hopes. There's more than one Robin in the world. Yeah, you know what? I'll keep this. I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's got half your pieces. Right, but we're on five, so. So I guess the keep is like. these five maybe yeah we have no way to dig for Sorn, but like I mean that's life like you can't just you can't just only keep hands that have everything uh, keep the mana confluence instead I'm the less exciting raw it's okay all all people are everyone's everyone's the less exciting raw I mean, if we can just hit Morophon <laughs> off of board the Weatherlight and then hit a, you know, I don't know what's going on right now. What are we getting here? A white source, perhaps? Let's get this godless shrine. Would Read the Bones or Night Whisper be better than this? No, because it doesn't dig as deep. You don't have time. Like, you don't have time to cast those things. You want to go, like, turn one... Thing, turn two thing, turn three, Soren. Has everybody heard? Fucking three whiffs in a row with this piece of shit. This card is actual trash. This yeah, card's we, out, dude. We keep whiffing with it. Card is absolutely done. I, mean, I don't think it's the card's fault that you keep whiffing. Real? I mean, it's not the card's fault I'm whiffing. The card's fault it sucks. It's the card's fault that the card itself is terrible. I mean, it hits your two relevant things you need. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it hits Soren. Does it? Because I've never seen it hit a Soren. That's not the card's fault, though. It's supposed to, in theory, hit that. And it also hits more of... Yes, but my more. point is, the deck does not have enough targets for it, and it is too. the ability on the card is too fucking narrow to actually be useful in the deck. It is the card's fault. If it said dig 7 deep or 10 deep, I'd be like, okay, this card's good. But because it's trash... What would you replace it with? I don't know. Winding Way seems better. <clears throat> Winding Way doesn't hit Soren, though, right? Neither does this! Like, <laughs> what? Fucking, what's your point, man? It should hit in theory, though. But in practice, it doesn't. So I'm going to go with the thing that actually is happening in the real tangible world, and you can go with the thing that happens in Fantasy Mike world. I think it's a Franco poor luck issue. You know what? I think you're a real scumbag. Look at that. When you're black, I didn't even add one. Because I don't even care. They're going to cryptic command this, so it doesn't matter anyway, because they always have it. Urborg is a hit with board. That's true. Ideally, they'll go end of turn, cryptic command, bounce one of my lands, we'll draw Morophon, and then we can just win on the spot. But that'll never happen. Let's ransack the lab. That sounds... Okay, that's fine. I assume you have a third remand in hand. That's my wacky guess. Okay, let's see if we can actually... I mean, I'm getting real excited because the, the, the thing that we wanted to happen just happened. Yeah. Yeah, fuck me. Of course. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just when I... Or we've drawn Nissa into what we get three hits with that. Oh, we just can't. Okay, one, two, three. Hit a land, then draw an overgrown. Sure. Okay, cool. All right. This card is absolute, absolute trash. What's absolute mean? I don't know. I just said it. Ransack the lie. Is it red? No, it's black. Look at the top three cards. Put one of them in your hand and the rest in the graveyard. That's just like another oath of Nissa, right? I don't even have any of this card. Oh, this is interesting. This is a modern Horizons card. Huh. This is a brand new modern Horizons card. That's fascinating. Oh, 
Oh wow, board can actually hit Oath of Nissa too. Yeah, so what are the what are the hits for, for board? Holy crap, dude. It has 21 hits, and we've whiffed every time. Yeah, I don't think it's the card's fault. That's super random, dude. <clears throat> Yeah, all the slivers are legendary. First sliver is legendary. Sliver Legion's legendary. Sliver Hive Lord's legendary. The only thing that does it is a Cloud Thresher, sl Cloud, sh Cloud Shredder sliver. But, like, nonetheless, like. Did wish it dug deeper. That's wild, man. Franklin, calm down. I saw you. I saw when you said that. And in my head, I was like. realistically it should not be whiffing three times we're still what are we what are we one two right now yeah play some legendary lands 21 hits on double final today from columbia records oh man you know board the weather like they had 21 hits michael i want to put this fan back on if you guys aren't if you guys are saying it's not the fan that's making no, the noise it's not the fan Play Dark Depths. Well, there's several problems with that. It's too deep in the dark. And it's not legal in modern. But if it was. Which it isn't. But in the future. Mm hmm I would rather just play six Oath of Nisses, to be honest with you. If that was an option, sure. That would be great. I guess we could play blue. I don't know what blue will get us. I just I don't want to go, I don't want to go the mana base. We already have an Urborg, so I'm not really. I want to add two burp. So that means two, he has 22 hits actually. Two burp. No, that was the 21st hit, Michael. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Why does he think I didn't include that? I don't understand. Because I, I hate you, and I think you're dumb, and I enjoy you losing. Well, it feels like if if you think I'm the dumb one, maybe you would work harder to be the smarter one. But no, no. Then you. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> you know what? Those are two different things. All right, I'm not going to change it again. I'm just going to leave the boards, but I don't, I don't like it. In the year... It should be good. Do you guys remember in the year 2000 when Conan O'Brien was doing... In the year 2000. Do you did that? that before and after the year 2000. I think you told me that. Yeah. Okay, this hand is a snap keeper. He's even been doing it after the year 2000. What do we have this breeding pool now? What do we have this breeding pool for? Did we have blue cards and we took them out? I mean, we have... Slivers that cost blue mana. Thank you. I mean, it's nice to be able to cast your slivers if you need to. Ben, big card. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. It's nice to cast your slivers. Yeah. If you need to pay five mana, you, you got five mana. Yeah, man, that is cool. You're right. Impulse legal? That's the old whiff. That's the old whiff. Right. I mean, you do have the pack to get the, the duder. Yes, but that you want multiple duders because if you just use the pack to get the duder, then you just die. Also, we only have two basics left in our deck to find, so we better just crack well, these quick. Make sure you get them. Get him quick. It's going to be in forest. <laughs> okay. Hey, look, now you don't got to search for that guy. Now you don't got to search for that no, guy. Anyway. What? What are you saying to me? So now you don't got to get that guy. It's true. All right, next turn could be good. The problem is if we put Morophon and First Sliver into play, even if we hit the Cloud Shredder, it's only it's not enough damage to kill them, and also we would die in the next turn because of Summoner's Pact. So, Summoner's Pact is awkward because it makes you like you, your Soren makes you want to do things on turn three, but Summoner's Pact is like no, nah, just wait till turn four. That's true. <clears throat> wait till turn Moro for Moro Morph Forofon. Fuck. That was terrible. 
I was trying. It was hard. Wall of Blossoms. Well, Secret Vision only digs you three deep, so. Traverse, interesting. Are we talking about the same deck, Fuck Zephyrus? Because I don't feel like it's very easy to get. I don't, like, we don't have any cards in the graveyard. We're going to have one land here. <clears throat> well, yeah, Oath of Vincent's Ledger, what does that matter? What did you say, Michael? Who knows, man? I don't know. Snow covered plains. The kitty cat can. Um. This is actually not bad. We can go get this. We can board the weather light. Oh my god. What? I was like, what is he doing in there? And he's playing with my <laughs> pants string. <laughs> oh, that's silly, pretty funny. You silly little, little goose. I thought you saw another, I thought it was another earwig. That's what I was worried about. Alright, like, let's see. Wow. Oh my god, you actually hit. Amazing. So what's better? Getting the, the Sliver Hive Lord, which is just guaranteed next turn. Or the Oath of Nissa, which could get... I guess we're just taking the Silver High Lord, right? It's just a guaranteed creature versus... Little Mittens, that's correct. Katie's taken to calling a Little Man Little Mittens. That's a good name. And uh, it's kind of cute, so I've just been doing it too. He really likes when you give him a hole. You do the hole from head to tail. Does he like that? Yeah. He's a good dude. Little mountain mountains. Oh, what up, Midnight Meat? <laughs> That's a funny name. It is, yeah. I gave your mom the Midnight Meat. No, you didn't. Yeah, no, you didn't. You can imagine, though. I'd rather not. Troll ascetic. What is wow. happening? Are they going to worship? Is like, this is a weird game. You're playing a weird game, right? I think we just win next turn if we can hit one Cloud Shredder. And I think our odds are good. The warrior. Bang, bang, bang. Your opponent's playing an interesting deck. Wall of Blossoms and the Troll aesthetic. What is even going on? I think they're going to worship. <laughs> if Frankie were on the Midnight Meat, what does that make him? Michael's daddy. Wait. Fu mm. oh. oh, mistakes are made. We can't get moral fawn with this. Why not? It's not a green creature, goddammit. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's real awkward. I agree with you. I didn't know that about some respect. I don't like it. Now I can't do it. Wow, that's... Yeah, that's probably game. All these stupid search cards do so many different things. Yeah, so in hindsight, I actually... I was planning on just getting more fun with this, but then, like, no one, no one said anything, right? But, like, we could have actually Oath of Nyssa... We could have gotten Oath of Nyssa off of the uh, Board the Weather Light and tried to hit Morophon that way. Dude, Patrick Mahomes, you right, man. You right. We should have got the stupid... Yeah, Summoner Pack is a little awkward now. Because, like, that's the only actually, card you want to get, right? Actually, if we draw a red source here... Uh, we can just cast it. No, we can't. We still have to pay for the stupid green Sun Zenith Summoner's Pact. That we didn't even get anything off of. I don't like think we have too many five color sliver lords because if we take out a sliver lord, we're not gonna have more morophons. You just want to make sure, like, you maximize all the pieces of your combo that you're able to maximize. Like, we can't maximize more morophons, so we maximize these and the ways to get all of these. That's true. They don't know nothing but memes. Morophons gonna be right here. You ready? Ah. <sighs> 
Ain't no more fun when he... If we draw another Soren, we can go board the weather light and more fun. Or if we draw more fun, we can go board the weather for a Soren. Okay, so we just gotta hit one more fun or one Soren. That's all we gotta do. Ha! And then our board the weather light has to hit the other one. I don't see the problem. Did you win yet? No. No. I'm working on it. Crewit. I'm watching you play against LSV Pro Tour Gatewatch. Oh, man. Cisne. That's not even a word. Yeah, they're definitely worshipping. Did you take out Call the Gatewatch? Because it was, we never had Call the Gatewatch in here. I don't even know what that card does, to be honest with you. Searches for Planeswalker. <gasps> It's a three-mana Planeswalker tutor. What? Yeah. Are you serious right now? No. It only hits one card, though. Right, I didn't say it was good. I'm just telling you what it is. Oh, yeah. No, I don't like that. It only hits one card. Hmm. Spirit Guide's interesting. It lets us play this, like, any of these dudes. Which blocks the Troll Aesthetic. I would have considered playing an indestructible one. What are they going to do that destroys it, though? It's five mana, so they, they can't abrupt the decay. I guess. Yeah. Like, I mean, they have to... <clears throat> the only things they're going to have are, like, banishing... Like, I'd rather get the, the cascading out here in case we hit a Soren. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Float on over. All right, let's get in there. Three, yeah. I mean, I have a feeling they're looking for warship here. Ah, oh, don't find the warship before we get to kill you. I'm not sure what warship does. If you control a creature, any li any damage that would reduce you to less than one life reduces you to one life. Oh, so we just gotta mill him. We have harm. No, we boarded out. We no, we took the harmonic out of the main deck because it's just not good ninety percent of the time. Yeah, we just gotta kill him. You nailed it. I'm still hoping to board draw either one Soren or one Morphon and then hit the other one with board. I think our odds are high, guys. Are you ready? Oh god. Don't be worshipping. Oh Jesus. I think we're dead to that, right? Let's waiting for the whiff. Oh, Soren. All right, <clears throat> we're living the dream. You don't get the cast trigger though. Maybe you don't. Well, neither do you. Maybe you don't. The cast trigger. What are you talking about? You don't get the cascade. From what? If you play a sliver boy with Soren. Oh, you can't even do that. <laughs> you think sliver Soren can put slivers into play? I was hoping. That's wild, man. It's going to be better if you could. Be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> What's that from? Uh, I don't know. Not the top of my head, anyway. I mean, you still should have attacked him, right? But then we lose our Soren. But if you only attack with the big boy, you wouldn't lose your Soren. <coughs> But how? Oh, that's a good card. That's the thing, all right. Also, how did you cast that? Oh, birds. Gotcha. Wow, no red sources, and they use a bird to cast their five mana enchantment. What a time to be alive. Here it is. You ready? All right. Nissa never lets me down. Nissa let me down. All right. All right. 
So, worship is a four mana enchantment, huh? Well, don't like that. Oh, we have no outs. Cool. Literal zero. Literal zero outs. If we cast silence on them every turn that they have it. Is that how Karn works? You can find colorless cards and not just artifacts? I don't feel like that's correct, but... Uh, you choose an artifact you want from outside the game. You can't, you can't do that. That's wild. Hmm. Well... This is awkward. I guess we just hope they don't draw it, you know? <laughs> You seem wrong. Got him. Yeah, I guess we should have had some outs to. Yeah, I didn't think the I didn't think I was gonna lose to the four mana enchantment in modern guys. Sorry, my bad. I know there's a lot of tier one decks with four mana enchantments in them, so oh. I really should have kept my eyes open for it. There's artifacts too, right? Uh, they're not four mana. That's why you have abrupt decays. I guess that's true. Boros Reckoner. Did you enjoy Historic Sealed on Arena? I enjoyed Historic Cube on Arena. Sealed, I did not enjoy. So it's the same thing. I just enjoyed the fact that it exists. But I did not enjoy the fact that it was sealed. Because that's trash. Sealed is a fart format. Dennis, what's going on, my dude? Good seeing you, buddy. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. Um... I'll take this guy. Mm. Ancient Stirrings does hit Moravon and nothing else, unfortunately. Unless you're Alex Bertoncini, in which case it gets anything you want, really. You can hit Soren, Sliver Hive Lord, or uh, Moravon with uh, Ancient Stirrings. These kids aren't even going to know who that is. Soon. These kids. Hey, you kids know who that is? Shut up and take my money. One, my eyes. My eyes, the goggles, they do nothing. Buck. That was random, but I'm okay with it. <clears throat> does anyone really know what Ancient Stirrings does? No, I guess not. I bought in thinking I was about to cube draft, and then I saw this huge pool of cards. Yeah, you're like, wait, what? I have to build a deck? Uh, what are we getting here? Let's get this overgrown tomb. I think it's still good. Let's go this. And this. One time. Oh, we don't have to. There's no one timing it. It just gets the guy. Oh, wow. We're doing it. We're living the dream right now. Cascade sliver right now. Cascade. Oh, you son of a bitch. The game hates me. I still think we're okay here. Michael, how was your birthday? Pretty good. Tell Dennis how your birthday was. It was solid. Katie, did you... I think Katie fell asleep. Or she's playing Animal Crossing. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> One salami future. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I got paid tonight, so I PayPal'd you the monies for... Oh, you're awesome. Did you really? Oh, I do. Let me make sure there's no fees. Oh, man. You, you killed it. For anyone who's curious, Super Fritz's YouTube his PayPal name is Late Night Nerd Mess, which is pretty hilarious. Oh shoot, they got Thrunny Boy. Give me a big fat Cascady Boy. She's still trying to get to Tarantula Island. <laughs> Why can't you? Is there a, what's going on? How does this work? What problem is, as they say? You can farm tarantulas on normal islands. Dude, what is this game, dude? And why are you farming tarantulas? Daylight come and Maguan go home. You'll never get my Soren. Kitty cat passes again. Yeah, I can I can feel his little tail brush against my leg. <clears throat> I gotta feed these kids. Black Tarantula. Oh, good. The card we can't beat. <sighs> Does Soren's ultimate destroy a permanent? 
It doesn't. It doesn't. Hmm. It's too bad. It's a real shame. Tarantulas sell for a lot of bells. <laughs> Makes sense. Farming them on normal islands is pretty obnoxious, and I really want the joy of getting them the normal way. I really... I want the joy... And I really want the joy of getting them the normal way. You only get to the island randomly and at night time. Seems it, like a chore. This game is wild, dude. Also, I'm confused. I thought Turnum was sort of the money in that game. Like, we have no way to kill this, right? So they could just sit behind it. Forever, right? Yeah, we actually can't beat that card. Turnips of the stock market. What the fuck? Take the rat train down. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Turnips of the stock market, so maybe you make money, maybe you don't. What the fuck? This game is so confusing. I thought it was just about animals crossing the street. Me too, man. Me too. I invested 200,000 bells in the turnips yesterday. Hope I don't lose it all. Man, that's crazy. Oh, God. <clears throat> Can they beat us? Like, what's is there any value in just playing this game out until, like... How many cards they got in their library? Oh, they got us on that, too. Yeah, it's true. <clears throat> Black Tarantula. 30 Iron Nuggets? Bam, 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 bam. The Iron Nugget. It's from Game of Thrones. The Iron Nugget. There's no Iron Nugget in <laughs> Game of Thrones. But maybe there is. <laughs> There's not. It's possible. There's zero. Yeah, you don't know. But you know about the Nugs. <laughs> I know everything about the Nugs. How dare you? I bet they're going to go... Tap two, regenerate Thrun, and then four, wipe the board. Uh, we probably could set up a double Pyroclasm turn if Pyroclasm was in the deck and if they tapped out. So uh, if everything goes right. If, outside of that, though. We could also have Skullcrack in the deck. Would that work? No, it wouldn't do anything. I'm just going to make this fucking dude like humongous and like they're just going to have to... How do they money. win through this, you know? One iron nug bug. <laughs> Love it. They wait until we get milled. And milled? Everyone, and everyone's miserable because we waited 44 turns to concede. Should I just cast this dude? Why? Why, why not? I don't know. Shut up. Huh. I do like how you're playing it out, though. Hey, man. I'm at 48 life, dude. Uh-huh. I got goals, bro. Does that save you from decking? Ley line? Sure, I don't do anything. Maybe they'll crack a fetch by accident. I guess there's that. That would be sick. That's our only out. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. <clears throat> Guys, remember when we showed that video of Mike B's... The fucking airwig crawling up Mike B's arm? Cascady boy. For funds. For the lulls. Come on. One time. Remember that video where you can't beat worship? I do. Got him. I'm living it right now. Does this mean spirit guide is slippery? It's not. Dang it. Uh, I'll just take another Soren, I guess. You know, for the lulls. I'll make this guy an 11-11. Just gonna keep attacking. <laughs> when are we gonna do the next music request stream? Never. Got him. Just kidding. Probably sometime this week, I imagine. <clears throat> After the modern cube comes out, we can do it. Oh, here we go. No, we have we have actual no outs to worship. We actually cannot win the game. Hmm. That's the thing. Yeah, I took Harmonic out because 99% of matches is just bad. Like, it doesn't do anything. 
Plus, like, the one match you needed, and there's no guarantee you're going to get your one of Harmonic Sliver, so it just doesn't seem great. I mean, should it be in the board? Yeah, probably. But, like, also, there's not a lot of modern decks that you're losing to four mana enchantments. Like, it just, it's not a thing. Just play four in the main. I mean, like, if there's no artifact on board, like, you also have to carry your own Oath of Nissa, like... I don't know, man. Black Tarantula. You know the Black Tarantula, Michael? Sony Impact can get it, that's true. Summoning Pack can get everything. Maybe it is worth running. Is it karaoke time. stream? Can I request a song? No, it's just where music is gets played, not not specifically me singing. You got it. We're at seventy four life, and you know what? Despite everything else, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So Harmonic Sliver one time. Damn it. <laughs> it's not in the deck. It could be. <clears throat> it's not. Alright, we'll leave. Ah. Uh, true he's right <coughs> i don't like these silences though like i don't know it's good against control yeah but i didn't even play it against the control deck so it's just like meh also defense grid kind of fills the same role what about ley lines like why are they here why are there four know. of these dudes why do we have hushbringer and torpor orb nothing like creatures under the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger creatures under the battlefield are dying don't cause like this is just better right no it's weaker but it's also we can find it with like None of these cards, I guess. <laughs> no, I'll so you can find with those. Sure. And call. Like, 100%. <sighs> All right, I'm going to play one more, guys. Use more event tickets. Spend my own money. Also, like, uh, you just cut the Torpor Road, added a second Hushbringer, then you cut a Hushbringer. Because it was six, we were at 16. Oh. So I would have added the Hushbringer if we needed the extra card, but... Did you add the Harmonic? Yeah, that's why we're at 16. <laughs> Super God. rude. Was it rude? Yeah. Time of Need? Is that just Legendary Creature? Yeah. Well, no, because we, we already have enough things to get creatures. Like, we're not missing things to get creatures. We already have Alad Omri's Call, Board the Weatherlight, and Oath of Nyssa. And Summoner's Pact, right? We need things that are going to hit Soren, not, not Morophon. I could probably just sweet talk him into singing to me if I... Yeah, she could. That's so crafty. Like the cheese? Disgusting! I knew yeah. it was one of you. What about Green Sun Zenith? I hate you guys. I feel like you guys are just being trolls now. A, that's not even legal in modern. I'll keep this. Oh yeah, it was banned, right? Yeah, it's been banned for like a year. Times ten. A year times ten? Yeah, Biddy. I don't even think modern's ten years old. Yes, Biddy. You ready? I'll take this one. And if we hit, come on, Morophon. Morophon off the tippity top. Intuition? What's that? I hate. How many times have we played against this stupid deck? This will be four or five, I think. Some, mis some number that makes me absolutely miserable. I think it's because like he Seth produces like cheap decks that are just kind of kind of quirky, and so like everyone just plays them because they're like, oh, this deck's thirteen tickets, and they're like, oh, all right, cool, I'll just build it away, and they're just like, all right, I just, I just have to play against it forty five thousand times. Yeah, and it doesn't also test the strength of your deck because you're never gonna see that in a real tournament or anything. Well, you're never gonna see this at a real tournament. That's true, I guess. Technically, but you want to play against those kind of decks to see if your deck's good, though, right? You don't want to play against this like random deck that no one's gonna ever play. <sighs> Fucking Jesus! Always a pleasure. Disgusting. That was fun. Black Tarantula. Yep, this Stop is fine. Stop singing that. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. She got it stuck in my head. <laughs> Stupid. I don't even know what this song is. With the, it's fucking daylight. Come and me one go home. That's part of that song? Yes. Huh. I don't remember that part. Oh, you don't remember that part? No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying I don't believe you. I don't. Wait. Who's my favorite MC? I don't actually. I I mean, I like. I love. I, Seth and, and MTG Goldfish are super cool. Like, I have no problems with them as people. Obviously. <laughs> like, Zach from MTG Goldfish actually throws me hosts quite frequently, so. But, I mean, like, the problem is just playing about the stupid, the this like, decks like this. Where it's like, oh, it's just... Because it's like just people picking up the Saffron Olive deck and just playing in the queue because it's like four cents. It's, they didn't hit our Soren for once. Fuck, yeah. I, literally the first time that never happened. They did hit two lands, so we actually don't have a third land to cast the Soren. But, you know. We'll get there. Will we? No, it's not looking good. Mutual, yes, Super Fritz? What do you need? Well, how can I help you out? <laughs> Back for Simeon Spirit Guide. Wow, that doesn't work for multiple levels. Here we go. Okay. Still Soren. This is actually going to be a pretty decent turn, I think. I think they just I think they just F themselves in the B. I mean, they're not really an interactive deck, so. So as long as they F themselves in the B, we got it. <clears throat> in the Michael B. It's your boy. All name Slivs. It's your other boy. Cascading through space. Do we just cast this guy? There's no real downside, right? There is no downside. Collected company hits Simeon's Spirit. <laughs> I guess, God, you're right. Um, What is this? Eight plus six. So we, we can deal 15. Money. And then we die. One solid Scott Pilgrim reference. What was the What was the reference? We can pack for another Cascader and get three Cascades. Well, wait, what? No. This is legendary, man. <clears throat> is he on drugs? Yes. Yes. I knew it. I fucking knew it. But then we die because we don't have mana for this, so. But the Cascade triggers. Oh, Jesus. Hey, man. That's a cool ox. Nice ox, bro. You'll be dead? Disgusting. Oh, the mismatching mountains. Oof, it's so rough. That's what I mean. You can tell, like, how, like, how, like, th these people just, like, literally put the deck together that day. Because they're like, oh, I'm just going to, I have 12 mountains in my collection. I'll just play this card. Give me that sliver. Give me that bird sliver. I said, give me the bird sliver. Um, yeah, this guy's fine. Plus he got Cascade. He do, he do got that. I'd recommend casting him. God, he's smart, man. Yeah, no. How did you get this smart? Government school. Oh, now we're now it's over. Did you say government? Yeah, government school. <laughs> That's wild, dude. Oh, this guy cascades too. You know what? Sure, man. I got nothing to lose. Which one don't we have? Got that fat daddy. This one. Yeah. Sure. Now that I'll be indestructible, just in case. <laughs> just in case. Oh yeah, sure. I'll just keep going. Uh, it doesn't matter. What's the, what's the problem? You know what? I'll take another Morophon just in case. Yep. Resolve. Give it to you, boy. Get him. <clears throat> I think we got it. Joke is on Frank. He's playing against me right now on MTGO. That's not true. She's a dang liar. She's busy trying to find Tarantula Island. <laughs> Typical. Uh, next level kind of... Yeah, that's true. She could be doing both. Are you the real... Why is it in quotes? Oh, I see. 
He's memeing. That's funny, actually. I appreciate that. My back hurts. Why's your back hurt? I don't know. How much damage is this, right? 12, 23, 25, 35, 47, 53 damage. They can block two of it. I think they're I think they're fine. Daylight come. Daylight come and me one go home. Daylight come and me want you to shut up. Oh man, now I feel bad for insulting the deck, but I'm just, I'm sorry. Shadowed, I'm sorry. I'm just salty because I played against this deck like 42 times, man. It is not personal at all. Mike's back hurts because that's where the earwigs have set up their new control center. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jake, what do you think, uh, how frequently are there earwigs in here? Because, like, I just saw the one. That's all I've seen so far. Jake's like, I don't know, man. I've never seen an earwig before. I didn't even know they existed. I don't even know what an earwig is. <coughs> Joke's on them. Until the payments are finished, that spine belongs to the rats anyway. Goddamn. What'd you say to me? You heard me. No. I basically never. What, what about the other parts of the, ho of the house? I'm just talking about in the general. In general, as you're as you're a dude just walking around the house, how frequently do you see earwigs? But let me know if you see more. We'll kill. <laughs> oh, that sounded. That was a sentence right there. Do I keep this? Like we need one mana to play Soren and to Morphon and to first this this. I would definitely keep this. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Do you hear that that cat? Mao. <laughs> Uh, they're going to burn in Chorus. It's going to all go wrong. It's okay. We're doing it. Well, did another Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay. We're doing it. <clears throat> That's it. We just need to survive one turn, dude. One turn. Don't hit any of these. Wait, what? I saw one once before, but it was right by the door. What door? The front door? Oh, kitty cat. Oh. Okay, we're doing it. Are you ready? <laughs> Haven't you people ever heard of... Earwigs by the goddamn door. No. Oh, we can't cast that. We're just going to have to cheat it into play. Name slivs. Oh, no. I'll, I'll decline. I'll respectfully decline. Oh, this guy cascades into, into Oath of Nyssa, which then hits another one. Any order. Oh, man. We're, this is, we're living the dream. This is the perfect match to end on, too, dude. Okay, I'll keep one. Give me another fat daddy. Okay, they didn't. They declined to give me my fat daddy. But it's okay. Because we're still going to win by exactly lethal. Hold on, I want to go back to that match and see if it was exa exaxies. Exaxies on turn two, my dude. Not bad. Jake, if this is not what you're looking for, my dude. That was turn two. We had It was their turn Two. They were on the play. So their turn two. Come back to our turn two. Exactly 18. They also had no lands. I just want to point that out. They could have mulliganed. <laughs> I'm not going to be responsible for like the decisions they make. That's fair. That's fair. So Wait, they, hold on. Hold on. Did they mulligan? They chose to play first. Yeah, they didn't even mulligan. They just began with seven. So I'm not yeah, I guess they are just hoping to that. That this one street wraith will get yeah, there? Yeah, get there. That's, yeah. that's a... I That's guess they had a bold strategy, stuff. Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Maybe they had a bunch of hauled ones that are burning inquiries, so they're hoping to get there with the land. That's still greedy. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Jake, I hope you appreciated what happened tonight because it looked pretty sweet. And uh, I'm still going to pick these cards up because this deck was definitely fun. And I think both Morophon and Soren have a lot of cool applications. Uh, both together. Did you just fart? No, that was the cat. The cat farted? Both <laughs> no, together and separately. So I'm going to try to pick some of those up next time. At CoolStuffInc.com, be sure to use promo code FRANK5 and you can get 5% off your purchase. Also, check out ManaTraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service if you guys are looking ways to play Pioneer, Modern, or Standard on MTGO. Uh, you get 20% off with the link and promo code in the description below. So be sure to check that out. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.